can only say a few words. This is my baby. Uh, he was the most caring person in this world. If I ever needed anything, he was there. When I moved his brother back from California, he said, you're not going alone, Mom. He was there. Everything, he was there. The last few years when he was struggling, he called me every day. Are you okay, Mom? And I, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad he did. I could go on with stories forever, but I can't today. But it was my baby. I met up with the Hawk family back in 70, 71. Rich's dad and mom and my wife and I were involved in Lions and we traveled to conventions together. We stayed at each other's homes and traveling and that's how I got to know initially the Hawk family. And when our two spouses passed away, Betty and I got together. We had a lot of interest in, in things. And uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, it was said that he thought a great deal about his mother and had feelings. He would call us every day, twice a day, and say, how are you, Mom? And then he would say, how's Howie? <laughs> and he would do that every time. And once a year, I'd go and visit my daughter in Oregon. And while I'm gone, he's real nervous because that he's alone. And he'd call her and he'd say, when is Howie coming home? And then he'd say, oh, is he home now? Oh, good, I can relax now. You know, we have been both overwhelmed with what Rich did. When we lived in the Springs, we'd see articles in the paper and we knew a little bit. And we learned a little bit more at his retirement and the celebration they had there. But we're overwhelmed with the response that we've gotten by phone, email, text. Um, it's unbelievable. Rich never talked to us about his many accomplishments. And so we just know peace to him. We knew he worked at Keogh. And you know, this is a sad day for the family and, it's, and for his friends. But it's a happy day that we can reflect on his life and his accomplishments. Rich was never a stepson. He was my son. I love you, Rich.